ladies. <laughs> Let's be ladies, you know, and guys, I say the same thing. Let's 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 be gentlemen when you're around ladies. Not apologetic news, not what you're used to. Not apologetic news, telling you the truth. Not apologetic news, saying what they're scared to. Not apologetic news, do do. Not apologetic news. I'd like to thank everyone tuning in to this brand new episode of Non Apologetic news where we tell you everything you never knew that you needed to know i am travesty and as always next to me is the body bag we are non-apologetic news the jim norton and sam roberts show signs to sirius xm for another three years now, if anyone doesn't know, I listen to a lot of these type of shows, you know, these are just like comedy talk shows. So in the vein of, you know, Jason Ellis, Howard Stern, uh, Jim Norton and Sam Roberts, Jim Norton is a famous comedian. He was on like uh, Louis C.K.'s first TV show, Lucky Louie. Did you ever see that? Yeah. Yeah. He was like the, uh, he was like the neighbor. Yeah, he's hilarious. And then Sam Roberts, who I never knew much about, he is, I have a picture of them right here. He is some sort of an announcer for WWE outside of the show. Do you, you watch, you watch wrestling, so yeah, don't you? Yeah, he don't have that curly hair. Was it like the kickoff show for their <clears throat> pay-per-views? Yeah, he did something on the show where they shaved his hair recently. He is terrifying looking. Yeah. <laughs> like, how the hell did he get into showbiz? But his show is hilarious. And for people who don't have Sirius XM, Sirius XM has been giving the axe to a lot of good shows because Howard Stern re-signed. So Howard Stern re-signed uh, for like $780 million, Jeez. $760 million. So they had to start cutting off. And <clears throat> from what I heard, it was any show that was making, that all together cost Sirius XM $200,000 or more. I don't know how true that is or isn't. Like most notable, Jason Ellis' show got the axe. And I thought they were going to be the ones that Sirius XM was going to push when Stern retired as like the heir to the throne type thing. But Jason Ellis and them are doing their own thing on YouTube. If y'all want a good laugh, check out Jason Ellis' show. They also have a Patreon. I subscribe to it. It is great, healthy, wholesome humor. Now, uh, three months ago, Jim and Sam's contract expired. They didn't know what was happening, so SiriusXM gave them a 30-day extension. And then eventually in the new year, uh, or New Year's right before it, um, They had come to some sort of agreement that they announced later. Now, I assume a lot of people are not familiar with them. So I do have like a notoriously funny moment from the Jim and Sam show. It's just Jim Norton. He's a quick-witted comedian. This is him in the midst of a confrontation with Jesse. Was he the body Ventura? Jesse the body Ventura. The body. (laughs) But yeah, so here's how that ends. And I I just think it's funny. It's funny to hear. Check You you probably haven't seen this, have you? Uh -uh. Check this out. You did it to me? You said I don't believe in the Constitution. Bye, guys. Bye, guess. Governor. Why don't you sulk and walk away? Why? No, you you put going, words in my hey, mouth. Hey, there's a fucking guy here telling me I got a schedule, asshole. He's using dirty language, asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Bye, tough guy. Bye, tough guy. <laughs> and thanks for your service to our country. You're welcome. Thanks for touching me with your fucking stupid rip riffraff and fucking Rocky Horror hairdo. <laughs> It is a great show, so we want to congratulate the boys once again for signing back on. What do you want to talk about today, buddy? Uh, I want to talk about some hallucinogenic mushrooms. Yeah. All right, the OBN, as it's called, is known for bridging together investigations between jurisdictions and neighboring agencies in uh, Oklahoma. They're also known for their expert canine. Uh, the K-9, Yiko, recently intercepted 280 pounds of marijuana and 22 pounds of Girl Scout hallucinogenic mushrooms. Dude, we got it since there, guy, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Being illegally trafficked. So wait, are these obviously not sold by the Girl Scouts? They're just made to look yeah, like Girl no. Scout cookies? Yeah, something like that. Okay. That would be a great way to transport your drugs is like put them in the Girl Scout boxes and have Girl Scout... We should probably just stop. Oklahoma and its network of interstate highways are an avenue that uh, drug dealers use to transport their products. Uh, They have covered the drug trade flow of I-44 through Missouri. It is extensively used by traffickers who are transporting cocaine, heroin, weed, phetamines, and all all the other good stuff. Jeez. 
That is what we're gonna throw that picture up. So that is a stack of chocaine and a bunch <laughs> bunch of cash. And some guns. Yeah. That one in the middle it's looks like a rifle. heritage arms. It's like a hundred and sixty dollar revolver. Don't ever buy that gun. Buy the uh buy the Ruger Wrangler. It's like thirty bucks more and it's 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 reliable. This one looks broken. I didn't see the yeah, the cylinder. cylinder. <laughs> well, some of them older revolvers, too, they're made um, like the Ruger Wranglers. It's made to simulate like the 1800s. So some of them you actually do have to take a pin out of the front and pull the whole damn cylinder out. Then you load it and put it back in. It's the same with like the little Derringers. Not to say that gun's that way. It shouldn't be, but I could be mistaken on the model. I completely interrupted your story. <laughs> oh, that's about all I got. So that is a lot, of, and that's a high-powered uh, rifle there. Yeah. With a big old scope, you could reach out and touch someone. Speaking of reaching out and touching someone with a scope, I'm having trouble with the dogs of my neighbor again. I don't know. <laughs> I think I talked about it on the show. I'm not sure if I did, where I had, like, the, the dudes build build me a fence uh, uh, down one side of my property, and, like, uh, the guy, I went over there, and he was drunk, passed out in the woods. I don't remember if I talked about that. Anyhow... <laughs> <clears throat> so I I happen to own over into my neighbor's front yard. His front yard isn't his front yard. Like a third of it is mine. It's just the way she goes. And <laughs> so I put a fence all the way down it because his dogs come over and try to attack my dogs. Or at the very least, his dogs are kind of pussies, but my dog will chase them off and they might wind up in the road or somewhere. And that yeah. scares me. And it's becoming a chore because my little lap dog, Simon, wants to like reach out and touch him and he wants to just attack and kill and he'll find they'll be squatted out in the woods and he'll find them and then and then instinct takes over and he no longer listens and because of that i do have you know i I have my rifle out for unrelated reasons of course what were you talking about drugs (laughs) drugs Drugs are good (laughs) all right (laughs) next up we have a story about Tampons. Has any woman ever asked you to go into a store and buy tampons? Yeah, I'm actually having to. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, I never had a problem with it. I know a lot of guys. That's weird. They're I ain't going and buying them pussy sleeves, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever you call them. But it has nothing to do with this story. Anyways, <clears throat> so this psychopath of a British woman has gone to extreme lengths to uncover whether her boyfriend was cheating on her after she found a wrapped tampon that wasn't hers concealed in her home. What the fuck? <laughs> That's exactly what she thought. So this 23-year-old woman took to TikTok to voice her concerns, Concerns, of course. To reveal she found the menstrual product alongside a tube of mascara stuffed under a closet in the college dorm of her lover, Finn. She says, I found a tampon and mascara under Finn's wardrobe, and he's in denial that he had a girl there. So Finn says, look, this stuff wasn't mine. We've only lived here a couple of years. It must have been from the previous occupant. So this woman goes and gets the serial code off of the Tampax tampon. She then calls Tampax. And she says, hello, what is the code on the side of the individual tampon for? And gave them the code. And she said, can you tell me when it was manufactured? And Tampax actually got back with her and said, based on the code, the tampon was made December 11th, 2019. Like to the date, right? And she also said that tampons do not have an expiration date. It's good to know, ladies, in case you don't. just We can learn something today. So she went to her boyfriend and she's like, look, I understand you weren't living here in 2019 when this thing was made. So there's no way you had a girl here. Problem solved. Funny TikTok, all's good in the neighborhood. So congratulations to this dude for siding, hiding his side piece so well. <laughs> because I looked into this and tampons have a shelf life of five years. They're allowed to stay on the shelf for five years after they're manufactured. So you could buy a tampon from 2019 today. So this guy did good. Now, I, I do have a little bit of advice to him, and that is run. <laughs> I was going to say, too, even if it was manufactured on that day, it didn't probably didn't hit a shelf it, for it, several months. It might that. not even hit a shelf for two years, yeah. you know. It depends on how many of these they make and how many of these little critters it's people need. Sit in a warehouse for but it, after it's made. It worked for her. So, I mean, then th- this guy's he's obviously with a psychopath, first and foremost. Yeah. She is absolutely bananas. Get out of there, Finn. Mm-hmm. Run, Finn. Run. 
He has game though. He he has like Dennis Rodman level game. Do you remember? Or I don't know if you would have known. There was this famous thing where Dennis Rodman was dating uh, Carmen Electra in like the nineties. And I don't even know what Carmen Electra was famous for, but she was famous mm. and she was very pretty. And she's big on MTV or something. Yeah, she might have been. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, she walked in on Dennis Rodman having uh, sex with a woman. And he didn't. He saw her and he didn't stop. So he continues doing his thing in the bed. And she runs up and she's like, you know, Dennis or Rod Dog or whatever you call him. <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm not doing anything. I'm sleeping as he's thrusting. <laughs> and then she's like, there's a woman here. He's like, no, there's not. I'm sleeping. I told you to leave me alone while I'm sleeping. <laughs> Somehow the relationship continued. Fast forward down the road. I'm not sure how long. But if I remember the story correctly, she walked in on him again with two women, right? (laughs) Just in the midst of it. And then he stops and he's like, thank God you're here, baby. These two women, they fell from the ceiling. It is a miracle. (laughs) Thank God you're here to witness it. This is so crazy. (laughs) And that just reminds me of our friend Finn. So, Finn, you need to run or else she might kill you. And then she will be jailed for life. So, tampons have an, uh, no expiration date, a five year shelf life. And you can find out from the serial code exactly the date it was made if you're interested in that sort of stuff. A South Carolina mom makes 4000 a month. Selling videos of herself farting. A hot seller, that's what they are. (laughs) Yeah. Emma Martin is careful in keeping her profession hidden from her family. Clearly. It's not (laughs) hidden no no more. (laughs) And only records the videos of her farting when no one is around. The mom of two says that she has a special diet that caters to her profession and helps her flatulence, making it easy to satisfy her customers and earning cash along the way. Who in his wildest dreams would have imagined that uh, they could get paid for simply farting? I I didn't. I would assume there was a market out there. Yeah, somewhere. (laughs) Well, if you don't believe it, then meet this mom. Makes $4,000 a month for simply vlogging clips (laughs) of herself farting. (laughs) Emma, who's 48, is also a former travel agent and has been making videos of her flatulence since 1999. And now charges around $5 a month for people to view her exclusive farting videos. That's a good deal. Yeah. If you're into that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's cheap. It might be hard to believe that Emma's lifestyle and diet are designed in a way to help her fart more. She eats a lot of salad, asparagus, and avocados. And uh, coleslaw and baked beans yeah, okay, mixed we're together. We're going too far into her diet. <laughs> We're going to post a picture of this young lady because she is far from attractive. Yeah. Yeah. So there's another woman. Uh, I didn't know about this one, but there's another one. I don't know. I think she's famous for something else. Like she's, well, she's famous for nothing because I think she's a reality star. I don't know for what, for who, I don't care. But she was doing something similar where she was doing it in a jar and then shipping it off to people. But I guess she, she did it so much and it got so popular that she had a heart attack. From all of her oofies. All right. I, I, I know we're getting the signal. We don't have much time left. But ladies, <laughs> let's be ladies, you know. And guys, I say the same thing. Let's, let's, let's be gentlemen when you're around ladies, you know. I, this woman could be a 10. I, I wouldn't have sex with her because of this. This right. is a deal breaker for me. <laughs> you know, if she's like, oh, I got to go to work. And then she just like, oh, man. <laughs> I I don't know. That is a flat out deal breaker. But for the same reason, I would show a woman the same respect. And I want, I I don't, I'm not like that. You know, I know a lot of friends who are like that. Who's like, uh, you know, pull the sheet over. You're trapped. (laughs) That is absolutely gross. And I don't see how a woman sees you sexually attractive after that. Just like I could never see this woman sexually attractive after this. She is nothing more than a giraffe to me, both in appearance (laughs) and in sexual (laughs) appetite that I have for her. (laughs) <laughs> but I do appreciate you bringing us that story. And on that note, I think it is time we say and wave goodbye to everyone that might or might not be paying attention at this point. 
subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot watch more videos we love it when you do that we are not apologetic news and do me one favor and that is do not watch the news good night everybody not apologetic news <laughs>